Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Amber. So a few years back we went camping with some friends. Now I'm not a big fan of camping. Um, I'm not sure they're staying in a hotel. Get that free uh, cable um, and get the continental breakfast um, and get that room service. Um, so yeah, not, not a big fan, but we went, um, we used a pop-up camper that we'd had for, um, many, many years. So we actually got it when Eric was first born. We went once, um, and it was not fun camping with a baby. So basically we really hadn't gone since. So we went, um, to a nice campground. We were actually the only pop-up camper there. Everyone else had these fancy RVs. Um, which would be more my type of camping, but so when you are camping, you tend to be outside a lot. Um, you go in the pool, you're just outside hanging out, playing some um, cornhole, and I'm very pale, very, very pale, um, and I tend to be obsessive with the sunscreen, always putting it on. Um, I remember as a kid, my grandma would make us get out of the pool like every 15 minutes and put new sunscreen on. Which at that time I hated, but now I love it. Now I'm always putting it on. Never got sunburned, but the first morning I woke up and something felt funny. So I look over to Josh and I was like, Is something wrong with my what? Um, my lip was just puffy. Uh, so what had happened was my lips had gotten sunburned. And when your lips get sunburned, they can puff way up so it was it was puffy for a couple days um i had to go to work with my lip still puffy um and the worst part of it all was i had to do a presentation so here i am up front of all these people and my lips still kind of blah, 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 blah. so um kind of embarrassing um not not very good looking so tip of the day, make sure if you're going camping or you're going to be outside in the sun a lot, put some chapstick on that has sunscreen because you do not want to have your lip all puffy, especially when you got to go to work and do a presentation. So chapstick with sunscreen. In a previous video called Step 4, Foundation Concealer powder I talked about blending the foundation down your neck and I said that it could get on your clothes and that my coat was covered so I'm wearing my coat right now and so I wanted to show you what it looks like so right here is where the makeup gets on my coat so um, it kind of rubs on my neck and so that is what it looks like so just an FYI I just wanted to show you as I was sitting here and wearing my coat wanted to give you that example all right sit on back relax have a laugh and i hope you enjoy this video have you ever found that when you really really want something or really really need something that's when you can't find it anywhere in the stores but yet when you don't want it or don't need it you of course find it everywhere so when we were first married the playstation 2 came out and my husband just had to have it. Um, so of course, every store we went to, gone. Gone, gone, gone. Um, and then there was a couple times where we'd walk in and the people that would walk right in front of us would of course get the very last one. There was one time where we went this way and another guy went that way. And of course the guy that went that way, well, you got the last one. Um, we eventually did get one, but it took, it took quite a while. Um, another time was when it was snowing like crazy out. And of course, we needed a snow blower. Um, but every store, they were sold out. And again, same thing happened. Someone would walk right in front of us in the store and they'd, they'd get that last one. It just never fails. It always seems to happen to me and Josh. So a product that I was seeing on YouTube that everyone was trying out was this e.l.f. Camel CC Cream. So... I just had to have it. I wanted it. So I would go to Ulta. I would go to Target. 
Um, and I'd go there and guess what? They would have it. But of course, not in any light shade. So I was like, come on. So then I'll be like, okay, I'll try back again. So then I'd go and again, they'd be all sold out or they'd have them and just not in my shade. So <sighs> finally, one time I went to Target again, all sold out and I just happened to look down and there on the very bottom, just kind of thrown there was this camel CC cream. And I was like, I grabbed it and I was like, I got it! So, we're gonna try it out today and see if it is as amazing as people are saying and if, was it really worth going to the stores umpteen zillion times to try and find it. So I just removed all my face makeup using a makeup eraser. If you have not seen my previous video on using this product, head on over there. It's called Step 7 Removing Makeup. So I am in the shade Fair 140W, at least that's what I think I am and hope I am. Um, so it says it's color correcting, full coverage, it has a natural finish, and it has um, SPF 30 in it. We're going to try applying it two different ways and see if there's one that's better than the other. So we're going to do this side with a brush and this side with a blender. So one tip I suggest when trying a new face product is either test it out on a Saturday, test it on a day that you're not going anywhere. So if you put it on and it goes terribly wrong and looks awful, either A, it does not sit well, or B, it turns orange on your face. At least it's on a Saturday and not a day where you're going to church or a day where you're going to work and you're all around people. And then at the end of the day, you go home and you're like, ah! That's what I look like all day. Hey. So test it out on a day when you're not going anywhere. The other thing you can do is put a dab on your hand, which I did here. Um, I've had it sitting there a little while um, to see if it oxidizes. We're going to put a new one and see if the colors are the same or if this one has oxidized. So we're going to put the one on top. And can you see a difference? Huh. They look pretty close. So that is a good sign. And hopefully that keeps the same way on our face. The product, when you squirt it out, it's very, very thick. There's no running. Again, if you saw my previous um, Catrice foundation video, you'll see it running fast down my hand. This, I'm shaking and it's starting to move a little bit, but it's, it's pretty, pretty thick. So we'll also do the Dairy Queen blizzard test. and it didn't move. We're gonna use the brush again on this side. This is the e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. So let's give it a whirl. So very thick. Um, it's again, very, very thick. It seems to be very high coverage. I'm gonna kind of blend and pat as well. Um, we're gonna move it around our face. Um, it's sinking in pretty quickly and it seems to be drying down very quickly as well. Um, there's a little sticky, but I think once it dries, the stickiness will, will go away. So that's what it looks like on the cheek. We're gonna go up to the forehead. Um, again, it feels very, very thick um, with the brush. I feel like it's not moving real good. Um, so I'm thinking that the Beauty Blender might actually work better because it has some uh, moisture, some wetness in that sponge. So, um, all right, let's move on down to the chin a little bit and blending out. And that is what the brush side looks like. So let's get our sponge out and give that a test. So we're gonna put some on our cheek. We're gonna pounce it around. So pounce, pounce, pounce. I can already tell that this is moving a lot easier um, with the blender than the brush. Um, I think it's looking a little more sheer. Um, it's definitely moving a lot easier. I can move it around my face. I can actually move it around to my chin. That was just kind of stuck to the one area. And you saw I had to reapply 
more to the face um under the forehead and the chin this i could actually kind of move around move it up my nose i can move it over here so definitely moves it a lot better um, around your face i'm gonna do a little bit more up here and we're gonna blend 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 um and it also goes i feel like a lot quicker with the blender so those are the two sides this is with the brush and this is with the beauty blender um so again this side definitely looks a lot thicker so if you want more fuller coverage i would go with the brush if you want a more sheer lighter go with the blender but again the blender uh, moves the product around a lot easier and quicker um and this is more kind of you gotta really move it and really pat it and um does not move well so was this product worth the going and going and going to multiple stores and was it worth the i gotta have it i'm gonna say no uh i don't really like this product it does not look very good i'll see if i can zoom into my face and show you what i don't like so i've got a lot of lines around my mouth um and again i don't know if you can see but it's settling in even on this side more on the side with the brush uh, it's also doing this weird bumpy thing on my chin and you can see my nose here too <laughs> Um, I'll try not to put my nose there so closely. Um, but it just, it does not look good. I got all these lines and it's settling in. It's showing all my pores. Um, got to, got lots of hair, uh, lots of hair on my face. And it just, it's just not sitting well. Um, again, this was the brush side. That side is definitely, well, never, never again would I use the brush. This side is slightly better with the blender but i still just mm -mm, it does not look good so i got my cat here with me mr mowgli and he says he doesn't like it either so he's gonna say no to the elf camel cc cream now again if you want really full coverage and maybe you don't have any lines you don't have any hair on your face I'm getting pores then maybe maybe a word but we're both gonna say no i hope you have a blessed day remember jesus loves you and we'll see you next time bye